This is John McAllister with the McAllister Scouting Report. And today on our podcast, we're going to visit with Brennan, Brendan Zerbig from Alliance High School, quarterback, class of 2024. I watched him play last fall. I really like him. I love it. I love his potential. I, I like his skills. I like his leadership. Also want to see him play basketball. And he's a very good basketball player for a sophomore. He's about to be a junior next year. And I, he's, he's articulate. He thinks before he talks. And just a lot of things I like. And I think he's one of the top quarterbacks in the class of 2024. Thank you. Enjoy my podcast today with Brendan Zerbe. Okay, my guest today is Brendan Zerbig from Alliance High School over in the northeastern part of the state. And uh, he's a quarterback, 6'3", 180. And uh, honestly, I think he's one of the best in the state in 2024 20, class. And uh, I'm excited for him. Brendan, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Coach. How are you? Good. I wish I had all that hair that you have, man. I'd oh, be in great shape, huh? Uh, I need a haircut. Shape. Tell me what I missed. Tell me here's what here's what I missed. What why football? You play three sports, and we'll get to that in a minute. But why football? Why why you play football? Oh uh, well, football like runs in my family. Uh, my grandpa played Division One. My dad played Division One. So. It just ran through the family, and you know I love to play and compete. So, but you, you got you, you yourself love football too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's really good. I and it's in your family. I obviously I knew your dad played, and we. This is about you and not about him, but he played at a high level. <laughs> okay, good. And he's learned a lot. And he played, and he also played with some really good players. Uh why you play three sports? Why, th why three sports? Uh, well, I just I like playing the sports that I play, and um, it also keeps me in shape in the off season while I and I enjoy doing it at the same time. So, yeah. You have an off season. You're playing three in the summer, maybe. But don't you play summer baseball? I do. Yeah. You do or used to? You do now? Yeah, yeah, well, I am. Uh, is that a travel team or what is that? Oh, yeah, it's a travel team. <laughs> it's really good. And I heard, Scuttlebutt, that baseball, if you really, really focused on it, you'd be pretty good at that too, right? No, I mean, That's yeah. You're being humble, but I've heard that rumor. That's really, really great. Do you encourage high school players to play more than one sport? Uh, yeah, definitely. Because if you play more than one sport, you know, you're uh... – you're enjoying high school and you're still, you're staying in shape for, you know, your favorite sport. So. Right. You know, I, I think they're finding out, but nobody's going to listen, especially in girls sports right now, when you start specializing, you know, and, and like in softball, basketball, volleyball, and, and guy sports too, you get to your sophomore year of college. And if you've been specializing, you're burned out. You know, you start to get, oh, man. But you take a guy like you or an athlete who plays two or three sports, you know, they're still learning. So they're excited about it and stuff like that because they're really good athletes. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you, as you look back, is there anybody, I would guess what you're going to say, anybody you kind of pushed you a little bit, kind of guides you a little bit, kind of keeps you focused? Anybody like that? Um, yeah, definitely my dad. Because uh, my dad has always coached me. He's always been hard on me, but it's always for a good reason. So, yeah. That's really good. That's, that's super. I, I would assume you said that. If you, if you could trade places with, with a sports figure for one day, who would it be and why? Um, for you, man, there are all kinds. But yeah. who would it be? Any sports figure. Um, probably Tom Brady. 
Yeah. Tom Brady. Why Tom Brady other than the obvious? Uh, just uh, just to see what it's like. You know, he won all those Super Bowls and just yeah. really good player. He's 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 got it, doesn't he? Yeah. He's, he's just got it. And he's, I think what people, and I think the, a lot of people don't realize how smart he is and how much film he studies. Yeah. Okay. Which leads me to another question. How about film study for you? Do you do much of it now? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm because I'm always learning, you know, I'm, I'm uh, just making sure, you know, I, uh, I know the coverages the defenses are running and I'm like familiar with everything. It helps my game a lot. So, yeah, uh, really. And I think, I think players need to do more of that in high school. Yeah, definitely. Sean Kaiser told me when he went to Notre Dame the first three months, he came in mid-year, he said they never threw a football. He sat in a classroom and looked at videos and looked studied videos. And he said he had he was at Notre Dame, he had to know as much theoretically as a defensive coordinator, you know, all these guys. He just had to know what to expect. So studied a lot of film. I know that, and it's really good. Okay, uh, let's talk football now. What's the toughest thing about being a quarterback? Uh, well, being a quarterback, you just – I feel like you have to be the smartest player on the field. Uh, you have to know what everyone's doing all the time. So you have to just – you have to you have to uh, be pretty smart, I think, to be a quarterback. What else? Um Hard being a quarterback. Well, you're uh, you are, by the way. I watched you on the basketball court. What else? Um, just being a leader. Make you know everyone looks up to you because you're the leader of the team. So you make sure you you lead and yeah, it's good. You don't take the last shot in the game and make it without being some kind of a leader. And I think people look to you for that, even as a quarterback. And I always think young guys, especially young guys, get in that huddle. And the big old linemen and stuff, and they're looking at you. You better be a leader because they're probably mad at you, gonna get mad at you or something like that. That's really good. What what quarterback skills do you think you have? What uh, quarterback skills do you think you have? I think I, I have pretty good accuracy. I, I can. Uh, I think I make good reads, and I also have um, speed, which I think is lacking on a lot of other quarterbacks. So. I can make okay. it with my feet and through the air. So you really can. And you know, you really can. I call that I call that escape accuracy. You can throw on the run and you can escape and things like that. A lot of guys can't. Um, you know, they can't do both like that. You know, they can drop back. What else would you say? T tell me about playing free safety. Don't you oh, play free well, safety? Um, I think yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I think, I mean, I like playing defense because, you know, I like to hit every once in a while. And um, also playing free safety, um, I think, as a quarterback, helps me understand defenses more. Well, that's – I agree with you totally. I agree. And plus, it helps your speed and agility and everything else and your yeah. hips and running the – you know, covering the field. But you're a quarterback for sure. Okay, here's what I also would tell you. You do amazing things well. I went – I did this a long time ago and came back. And I think your feet, keeping them under you somewhat, allows you to run. You know, it allows you to change direction. And, you know, obviously sometimes you have to scramble. And I think that's huge. And I, the only thing I, I – you do so many things right. You know, you're always, your head's always downfield. And uh, the other thing I really like is your follow-through – but maybe sometimes you play around with bringing that right hand down to your left pocket. It's always like putting my, sometimes you bring it across your body. And uh, I'm not running a clinic here, but some, if you can bring that ball, always think of coming down to your left, your left pocket or your left groin side there. But that will keep the ball spinning a little bit better, and you've got to get a little bit of rotation on it. Anyway, two cents there. Tell me, we talked about basketball. How many points a game last year for uh, a good team? For what? For a good team. You guys were pretty good. Oh, yeah, me. yeah, yeah, we were. Um, I had ten, about 10 points per game. Yeah, yeah, shooting three-point shooter. And, and you also came under the basket a few times. 
I yeah. saw that game. You know, you, you quarterback shouldn't be doing that. You get hurt now. <laughs> Tell me about track. I think it's really important that we mention track. I was kidding you. You're a sprinter. And last year, and a, and a hurdler, last year you ran 15, you ran, excuse me, 15, 8, 5 in the, at one time toward the end of the season. So that's peak time, which is really good. But 15, 8, 5 for a freshman, I think just lining up. And, and track is so important. If you ask a wide receiver coach at Ohio State, he said, he said that track, he won the state in 110 meter hurdles his senior year. And, uh, he said, there's nothing like lining up on starting gun, you know, that, that ex- competition and everything. Oh, yeah. He's a big track guy or, you know, maybe someday you, you won't have to run third leg. You get that anchor leg maybe. You know? yeah. I'm yeah. just I'm kidding you, man. But coming down that straightaway, good things. Okay, second silly question. What's one talent that you don't have You'd like to have, but you never will be able to have it. Never get it. Mm, the talent, I. Mm. It could be anything. Anything. Uh, I'd like to be like better at history. History class. Really? Yeah, history. I have. A, <laughs> you don't like it, or are you just not uh, into it? No, not at all. It's just not my favorite class, and. I'm not, I'm not terrible at it, but I just like to be a lot better. Uh, yeah. yeah, history. Math was my terrible subject. History, I kind of enjoyed a little bit. It's a big story. Once you read it, oh, you don't know the you know it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we talked about influence. What are? It, it's just kind of worded wrong when I wrote this up a years a long time ago. What are words you live by, Brendan? What I mean, like. What drives you or what motivates you? You know, like for me, go ahead. We'll see. Well, first I'd say honesty. I think being honest is really important and, uh, for being a person. So definitely honesty and always just hard work. Uh, hard, I've always gone by the words hard work and hard work can get you anywhere in life. So. It will, but if you don't, it may not, but if you don't, you have no chance. Right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, if you don't work hard, you don't have a chance. Right. That's, I think honesty is huge. And yeah. my goodness, in this day and age, it's, it's even worse than that, I think. We talked about what would be a top sport, what would be a top sports moment for you so far in your young career? Is there anything you look back on and be a scrap, I call it scrapbook material. Just one, one thing, is there anything that just jumps out at you? Um, last football season, probably week 10, you know, our team, we didn't have a great season, but, uh, we went into week 10 and we played our rivals right across town and we beat them pretty good. And that was a really, um, uh, really good. Yeah, that's that's yeah. really good. That's good. Okay. What would you tell young quarterbacks? What are you going to tell young quarterbacks? Encourage them. What would you tell them? What advice would you give them? Uh, I'd say, not everything is going to go your way. So just work hard and trust the process and, um, you know, don't expect everything to be great along the, along the way. Trust the process. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to show your leadership skills here. Let's go to two a days and it's about August 5th, someplace in there a little, and it's really hot and dragging and you see a couple of freshmen and they're really dragging their, what do you tell them? It can be any position. What do you tell them about staying the course? Uh, I just I tell them to keep going because all the work that they're putting in at that time, it's all going to pay off eventually. And keep going. And they're one play away. Yeah, always. one play away from playing eventually. You know, if people get hurt and things like that. Well, that's good. Uh, we talk. What's what's one your biggest strength in football? What's one quality? You already talked about it, but let's, what was that one thing? Um, I think my speed. I think, okay. uh, yeah, I think being fast allows me to, to, um, you know, when I get pressured in the pocket, I can escape, I can throw on the run, uh, I can make a play with my feet. So I'm always able to do stuff with being fast. And when it, 
you say escape, it doesn't necessarily mean 40 yards downfield. You escape that tackle and you can hit the guy across the post. Wow. I think, I think, you know, everybody always talks about the down and the, you know, the 17 yard out to the other side of the field. Okay. You got to, you can do that. But I think also people need to talk about the RPMs over the middle, you know, that, that, that drag or, or, you know, coming across, you got to really be able to spin that thing yeah. in there. I think like that and stuff. It's really good. If it's really, it's really good. Are you going to go to any camps this summer? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what camps yet, but I'll, I'll be at a few. Good. Okay. Let's talk about a couple more things and then we'll tie it up here. Tell me energy is so important in sports. Okay. Energy, you know, the energy that you bring to the team, what energy do you bring to the team? How do you um, bring energy to the team? I, I think I bring a sort of competitive energy. Um, whenever we go into a game, I'm like, all right, guys, let's, let's go win this thing. And um, I always wanted to compete and, you know, go win. So that's the type of energy I bring. It's a positive attitude and stuff like that. Yeah. And plus you get it done, by the way, which helps. Now tell me, would you consider yourself more of a, a quiet leader or, or are you more of an out, outgoing, outspoken leader? Uh, probably more on the quiet side. I lead by example a lot also. I always do the, the right thing and work hard. Yeah, you know, you watch – and I knew Joe, Joey Burrow when he was a junior in high school. But he was kind of like that. But he could also see him on the sidelines once in a while and just start ripping into his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> Once in a while, now, not all the time, because they were all good friends, but he, he'd get into them. I think that's such a great quality to have. And plus, they knew that he could win, you know what I'm saying, and toughness he brought. You have that. Okay, uh, what would be one thing that nobody knows about you? Um, one thing. Nobody. That's a, it's a hard question. I always thought it was kind of interesting. Though. What would be one thing that nobody knows about you? Oh, well, so one thing like only my, my family and friends really know about me is that uh, I'm a type one diabetic. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I just, I have to always watch my blood sugar and play through it and always, yeah. So. That's really good. And that's, that's, heck, that's, that's a quality even beyond. Okay. Mm -hmm. The strength to do that. Okay. Was there ever a time for you when the light came on? Was there ever a time? Now, you're young, but was there ever a time in football so far? And in two years from now, if I ask you that question, it'll be different. But was there ever a time when you said, I got to step it up or I got to no more games? You know, or, you know, you got to get it. Was there a time like that? And there may not have been. You know? um, yeah, I think there was. Um, my freshman year. Our starting quarterback at the time got hurt, so I had to step up and play in a game, I think, week five. So, yeah, I went to play, and I we didn't have the best game. We lost by seven points, and after that, I was like, yeah, I, I need to step it up and get it better. Yep. That's really good. That's a good answer. Okay, I'm going to recruit you now, and uh, let's talk about recruiting first, and we'll finish. How is it going so far? Uh, it's going pretty well. I have a couple offers, so uh, pretty good. It's early. it's early, too. It's early. I mean, no matter, you know, you read all these guys, it's, and I don't blame them. Players, you know, they get one, somebody says, hey, I like you, and, man, they're on Twitter saying it's like a full offer, you know, and things like that. And it's not really. There are very, very few offers out there right now, real ones. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to do a podcast on that soon. Okay. It's good. I, and you're going to go to some camps. I, but the ni nicest thing is I said, you're having your dad, your dad's done a good job prepping you for what it means coming from me. Okay. I'm going to recruit you. It's really important. I mean, you, you know, and I've seen you play basketball on purpose. I've I'm doing this and I've seen you play a game on purpose. Obviously I don't go watch everybody because uh, what's the, why would I recruit you? What's the best quality you have? Um, I think my best quality is that I'm a winner. And when I go out to play a game, I'm, I'm 
going to go try to win it and compete. Uh, so whatever school that recruits me or go to, I want to go there to, to win a championship. Yeah, you know, and you know, you people can say that because you just have to believe that, right. and not everybody believes, but believes it. That's really super. I've enjoyed this interview. I will tell you, you know, Ben Roethlisberger. Of course, I'm old enough. To, I remember these guys, Roethlisberger, and and lately, you know, uh, Joey Burrow and these guys. They they competed everything. Right. And Roethlisberger could he played basketball, you know, in high school and. You know, he could have been a he could have been a Mac player in basketball, but he chose football. But you know, those kind of guys drop the ball, kick it around. I saw Ben do this, pick it up and throw a touchdown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. those are that, and that's that's really good. Brendan Zerbig, I really appreciate you being on my program, my podcast. Yep, okay, thank you for having me.